Hey guys, welcome to To See or Not To See, and today we're going to be talking about Spectre, the final video in my series of James Bond videos that I've had coming out for the past couple weeks, and Daniel Craig's last outing as James Bond. So the story for Spectre goes is that James Bond's past has come back to haunt him, and he needs to figure out who the, these mysterious people are that are leading the group known as Spectre in order to save the world. So for the characters in this movie, we again have Daniel Craig as James Bond, who has done an excellent job, and it's obvious in this movie that he is starting to show his age as an agent. We also have Christopher Waltz as... Ernest Stravera Bofield, I think that's how you pronounce his name, as the lead, mysterious leader as Spectre. He does a pretty good job, too. He's not as good as the villain, though, in the previous movie, which I will explain a little bit later. We we'll also have Leah Sudeikis. Okay. As Dr. Madeline Swan. Um, out of all the Bond girls, I've always praised the Bond girls in all of the Daniel Craig James Bond movies, but this one seems a little bit on the bland side. Not as good as the previous ones. So for the bad things in this movie, um, pretty much the, the problem, the few problems that I had with this movie is that for one, the villain. The villain is just not as good as the villain in Skyfall. The villain in Skyfall was perfectly done, um, but this villain is better than, you know, the villains in uh, Casino Royale and Quantum of Solace. Um, he does a, they try to develop him like they did with the previous one, but it just, it doesn't come together as well. And for some of the things in the story, just like overall, like I can see what they were trying to do. They were trying to make the whole saga of the Daniel Craig James Bond movies come together in this movie. They don't pull it off as well as they could have, but I don't want to spoil anything for you, but, um, and like I said before, um, Leah said Dukes, I think that's how you say her name, I'm, I'm horrible with names, you know, um, doesn't do as good as she could do as, uh, the, the Bond girl, da Dr. Madeline Swan in this movie. Um, another little disappointing thing is that, um, James Bond fr friend, um, what's his name, uh, Felix, Felix, uh, the CIA agent that is a friend of his, um, doesn't make an appearance in this movie, he didn't make an appearance in the previous one, which is just a little disappointing, but that's, like, nothing bad with the movie. Um, other than that, like, the, for the good things in this movie, um, the, I, once again, the action is great, the story is, is pretty good, it's just not as well executed as, as, as I think, um, Skyfall was, and, but overall, like, it kept me entertained, um, there was some, it did have me guessing at some moments, like, wow, who are these people? Who is Spectre? And, and things like that. Um, this was definitely the closest, though, to the kind of the maybe campiness or a little bit of the cheesiness of the original uh, Sean Connery, Roger Moore era James Bond movies. Even, like, maybe the Timothy Dalton and uh, Pierce Brosnan uh, James Bond movies. So, like, it's not as serious and gritty at some parts. Um, as I think that uh, the previous Daniel Craig James Bond movies were, but it's still it's still very good. Um, I will still give it a 2C because it's better than Quantum of Solace, but not as good as Skyfall and Casino Royale. So who do you guys think should take up James Bond next? Now that Daniel Craig is seems to be done as the character. Uh, my personal pick is Ewan McGregor. I think that he did a great job as Obi-Wan Kenobi, even though the prequels weren't... Um, up to standards of many people. We'll be going over that in a couple weeks, by the way. Um, that's my biggest pick is Ewan McGregor. I think that he would be a good uh, James Bond. Um, other picks that I hear going around, um, Tom Hardy. Uh, I think Tom Hardy's a little bit too bulky to play James Bond. He's too big, and you know, I think he's more... He'd be a good Bond villain, I think, after seeing him play Bane. Um, I think he would be an excellent Bond villain. Um Henry Cavill, um, he's already played the man from Uncle, and again, too big and bulky, I think. Um, Idris Elba, as much as I love Idris, Idris Elba, um, I'm very I'm much a stickler for um, keeping the source material of characters. Um, James Bond was was written as a a white Englishman, so I think that they should uh, they should keep that that way. But Idris Elba, I think, would be an excellent Bond villain. Um, that's who I think that he would be. He'd do a really good job as. I would love to see him in a James Bond movie. Um, who else who I think could be in a good James Bond movie? There was one other person I was thinking of. Um, oh, yes, Benedict Cumberbatch. I think that he would be an excellent Bond villain. I would really love to see him in the movie. 
Um, so that's it's gonna they got big shoes to fill because I think Daniel Craig is really, as I said before, the first one to nail the James Bond character. Um, as much as I love um, Sean Connery, Roger Moore, uh, not really Timothy Dalton, but and Pierce Brosnan. Um, I think that they all did great jobs as James Bond, but the, none of them really topped Daniel Craig because I think that Daniel Craig really captured the character that Ian Fleming was going for in his original novels more than any of the other ones, and he made him human and really a more interesting character, um, which was really, really made, I think, the Daniel Craig James Bond movies the best James Bond movies um, so far. So that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. And what's coming next? Huh. Creed is coming out in a couple weeks, so I guess we're going to have to do the Rocky movies. You ain't